Well, hey there. My name is Hickory. Hickory Nut. Pleasure to meet you. Now, let's get this show on the road, because we've got so much to talk about today. I think I told you about how I spent some time around the Jordan River and was able to see Jesus be baptized by his cousin, John the Baptist. I was planning to stay there, but one of Jesus' friends, Peter, actually found me and threw me in a pocket. I think he forgot all about me, which was fine by me because I got to be part of some pretty amazing things. Jesus fed 5,000 people, healed the blind and the deaf, brought people back to life. I could go on and on. But the story I really want to tell actually comes from the very end of his life on earth. Now that I think about it, it was actually time for the feast of the Passover, and Jesus and his friends, the disciples, had come to Jerusalem to celebrate. On the very night of the Passover, after the meal had been served and everyone was listening closely to Jesus, he told us, well, he told the disciples, that the time was coming when he would be arrested and then killed by the people of Jerusalem. Everyone was very upset by this. After the meal, Jesus took Peter and two of his other friends into a garden. Jesus wanted to pray to God, his heavenly Father, and he asked us to keep watch and pray for him. I could tell that he had a lot on his mind. He went off on his own, and I stayed with the disciples. Pretty soon, all three of them fell asleep, and Jesus came back and asked them again to keep watch and pray for him. Then, he went off a little ways in the garden to pray by himself. This time, I managed to overhear a little bit of what he was saying as he was praying louder. He kept asking if God would take away the pain that was going to happen if possible. What he meant was the part about being arrested and killed by the people. But then he prayed something that I will never forget. He said, If it's possible, Father, please don't let me go through this. Yet not as I will, but as you will. A lot happened after Jesus prayed. He was arrested, betrayed by his friends, and even went to trial. People said he did all kinds of things that just weren't true. Jesus was innocent. He hadn't done anything wrong. Peter and I stayed pretty close to where everything was going on, but even Peter couldn't handle the pressure. The next time I saw Jesus, he was being nailed to a cross. Not only had they decided Jesus was guilty, but they said that he deserved death. Wouldn't it be awful if the story stopped there? Jesus did die on the cross, but I promise you, he rose from the dead. Early in the morning, three days later, Peter, John, and I hurried to the place where Jesus was buried. But there was nothing there. The grave was empty. Jesus was alive. He had defeated death for all of us. We saw Jesus for the next month or so after he rose from the dead, and then he gave us a mission to go make more disciples. After he had finished talking, he just started floating up in the air, and he kept on going all the way up to the sky. But he promised us he would be back one day. For now, he is sitting next to his Father in heaven. I know, it's incredible, right? Unbelievable, right? I would say the same thing, except I was there. Call me crazy. Call me nuts, I don't care. I know what I saw. The Bible says it's true. Jesus is alive. What a life, yeah. Well, I think that's about it. The short version, you know. The life of Jesus in a nutshell.